uh, let's drill into extending the API uh, with WebGL. OK, if we go to my demo, um, we see here, you know for a while that we have had the ability to extend the scene view with, my, with your own custom WebGL. We've had this example for many, uh, many years uh, where we have windmills in Palm Springs. Uh, they are uh, being driven by the wind of the nearest weather station and the wind direction. In the next release of the JavaScript API, you'll be able to do the same thing in 2D. So here is an example that will be coming out on custom WebGL layer views. So these animating symbols that we have here, we have uh, the tutorial that will lead you through creating your own custom layers that work directly with the WebGL engine. So you can write your own vertex and fragment shaders. Now, Dario, back in Redlands, built me an example to show you guys, to give you guys an idea of what you can do with this. So this is eastern Kansas. Uh, it's Middle Creek Lake we're going to drill into. If I drill down into this lake, notice how the trees, they're swaying slightly based on the breeze. We have the uh, lake surface lapping on the shore. If I move over to the campsite area, I see the fire pits are lit and smoke is wafting off. This, can, I can give views at many different times of the day, from high noon to the evening hours and into the night. But the cool thing, because this is built with the JavaScript API and it's just a custom layer, I get all the other benefits of the API, like the screenshot API. So now I've taken a screenshot of that view, and I could send that postcard to somebody. Pretty cool. <laughs> 